Well, this is my buddy Michael. Uh, if you've been watching for the last few days, you know Michael Howell and I are in cahoots, man. We're <laughs> we're not just friends. We are not just uh, partners in ministry, but we are. Our families love each other, and and uh, his children call me Uncle Mylon. And I don't. This is going to sound really silly, but I like that. You know, I told them one time when they were little. I told them, I said, you know, you're. Your daddy and I are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We're in his family. We're like his little brothers. That's what the Bible says. And that makes me your uncle. And they looked at each other and they looked at me like, and they looked at their dad and he gave them the nod. It was okay. I, I became honorary Uncle Miles. That's right. It's been too cool. I love that. There is a scripture in Romans 12 that says, Therefore I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, in view of God's mercy. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God's mercy. Yeah. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, which is your reasonable service. It's not unreasonable for me to serve the one who forgave me of my, all my sins, healed my body, and cleansed me from all unrighteousness, and blessed me with Christy and all, all the wonderful things I have. You know, it's not unreasonable for me to worship him. And he said, if I'll do that, I'll find out what it is and be able to live the will of God in the earth. Yeah. Man, that is exciting. And uh, Hebrews 13, 15 says this, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. We're talking about sacrifices today, living sacrifices. What is it? It's a sacrifice of praise. You don't feel like praising? You do it anyway. That's right. How many times have you set up when you had the flu? And you're getting <laughs> ready to... Oh, man. You're getting ready. I've been on the road in my band, just hound dog sick, man, and having to pray. I did not feel like praising God, but as soon as I'd enter in, then healing would come. He says, Therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks. We talked about choices earlier in the week. You have a choice if you desire to, you can praise God right now. You had a hard time lately, just go to praise Him. See if He doesn't show up and prove He's God. You know, a lot of people would think that that's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the message, it refers to the kingdom of God as the upside down. Yeah. kingdom. You know, the world looks at their circumstances and what's going on in their life and they want to talk the problem. Exactly. But God instructs us to talk the solution. To begin, you know, if you're sick, begin praising God for the healing Come that on. He's promised for you. If That's you're it. in lack, you don't have money to pay your bills, begin thanking the Lord and sing praises to the Lord because He has provided for all our needs according to His Word. Yes, He has. I can think of things to gripe about, but why could I why would I do that when I can think of a thousand things to praise yeah. Him for? So that's the sacrifice of praise. Give it to Him and watch Him bless you. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow.